What's going on, everyone? It's RGB Tech back again. Today, I'm going to show you how to update your Galaxy A30 to One UI 6.1 with Galaxy AI support. The ROM we're going to install is a port from the Galaxy S21 FE, which means we're getting some awesome Galaxy AI features on this seven-year-old Exynos device. Pretty wild, huh? Right now, this phone is running a Galaxy S22 port based on One UI 6.0 and Android 14. All right, now let's simply power off the device. Also, make sure all your important data is backed up to your SD card or wherever you prefer. Now, boot the device into TWRP recovery. This should already be installed. Tap on wipe. Here, you need to wipe these selected partitions. This will completely erase your data. It's also recommended to wipe the internal storage to avoid errors during a clean install. Next, go to backup, select the data, boot, and EFS partitions of the device. It's important to back up these partitions because they contain the device's ID, information, and other data. Okay, now go back. Tap on Install, select Storage, and navigate to the folder where you copied the ROM file in zip format. As mentioned, this One UI 6.1 ROM is ported from the Galaxy S21 FE by the XROM team for both Galaxy A30 and A40 users. All right, we've got the welcome screen. This is the XROM installer. Tap on Next. As you can see, my device's bootloader is detected and supported. Tap Next, agree to the terms, and here we have the ROM update logs. Right now, I'm on version 4, which is currently stable. There are a few bug fixes here and there, and the product name has been changed to S21 FE. Tap Next. Now, choose your installation type. There's Express Installation or a customizable option. I'll go with Express Installation by default. Tap Next. All right, the installation has started. This process usually takes around five to seven minutes, so I'll fast forward the video. Okay, it's done. You can save the logs if you want, but it's optional. Now tap on Next and reboot the system. That's it. The phone is booting up. As you can see, the boot animation has changed, just like on the new Galaxy devices. And finally, there we go. It's booted up. I'll complete the setup and catch you on the home screen. All right, guys, we're on the home screen. And as you can see, it has the S21 themed look. This ROM feels smooth, quite responsive, and overall, better compared to the previous version. Let's check the system information. As you can see, the device model has changed to Galaxy S21 FE 5G. Yeah, it's running One UI 6.1, based on Android 14. Now, let's check the battery information. This time, you can actually see the battery health and cycle count, just like on an iPhone. It's crazy this device is so old, yet it still has 100% battery health. Pretty wild, huh? There's also a Smart Manager, similar to the Device Care feature on official Galaxy devices, but with some custom tweaks. Samsung DeX is supported as well. You can use it wirelessly or via cable, just like usual. Now, heading into Advanced Features, you'll find Advanced Intelligence, basically, the Galaxy AI features. These are some powerful, in-demand features, but I'm not sure if all of them will work on this device. I mean, let's be real. This phone has pretty old hardware and its processor doesn't even have an NPU. I'm honestly curious to know how it can handle these AI features like call translation or anything else, or something even more powerful to process things quickly. So, we'll have to see how well it performs. Now, let's check the camera. It's working, and the quality looks decent pretty much the same as before. It still supports up to 1080p at 30fps video recording. And yep, the ultra-wide camera is working as well. Now, let's jump into the photo editor, which is integrated with Galaxy AI. If we go to more, there's the object eraser feature, something we've already seen on a lot of newer Galaxy devices. You can erase reflections and shadows, same as usual, just the basic stuff. But this right here is what we're really talking about, Galaxy's generative AI, which can completely reimagine your images. You can select an object, move it, or even remove it entirely. Here, I'll move my phone or I'll remove it. Now, let's refill this empty space, tap on generate, and let's see what happens. And remember guys, we're doing this on a seven-year-old phone. This is not a joke. 
The Exynos 7904 chip inside this device doesn't even have an NPU, yet it's handling AI processing. Wow, look at this, guys. That's actually insane. It's so accurate. It's honestly generated really well. Now, let's try another one. I'll select this big object, the keyboard right here. All right, I'll remove it. Now the space is empty. Tap generate and whoa, it actually filled the space with a wooden shelf like texture. That's crazy. Now let's take it a step further and remove a person from this image. Tap generate. Wow, look at the background guys. Even though it took a little longer, it refilled the space so well. You can also select and move objects or even people from one image to another. So let's try replacing this person here. Tap save and done. Now let's go all in. I'll remove the entire background of an image. Tap generate. And there it is. Look at that guys. I can't believe it actually refilled the whole image. Dear Apple users, take notes. Even the latest iPhones have struggled with generative AI fill, but this seven-year-old Samsung phone is pulling it off. Let's also remove this thing. All right, now it's perfect. You can clearly see the difference between the original and the AI-generated versions. And just like with images, AI features are also integrated into Samsung's keyboard in this ROM. If we go to Messages, there's an AI option built right in. You can change your writing style, fix spelling, and grammar pretty handy, right? Let me type a simple message. Hello, friend. Now, let's change the writing style. And there we go. We've got different tones to choose from. Just copy the one you prefer and replace it. That's it. Now, I'll paste some text here and check for spelling and grammar. And there you go. Just replace the corrected version. Super useful. They've also added Bixby Vision in this ROM, but unfortunately, it's not working. It keeps crashing. Same thing in the Samsung Notes app. You can automatically change the text format, summarize content, correct sentences, and even translate scripts into other languages. It also lets you generate covers for your notes, which is great for anyone into writing or creating documents. In the Voice Recorder app, you can transform recordings into transcripts and even summarize them. The Samsung Internet Browser also includes AI feature to summarize web page text along with translations. Pretty cool. All right, now for another trending feature circle to search is also available. That's crazy, right? Just touch and hold the home button, circle an object on the screen, and it'll instantly pull up results. It works fast and is surprisingly accurate even on this old device. And finally, let's try out the real-time call translation feature. But unfortunately, it's not available here, there's no option for it. That makes sense though, since real-time call translation requires much more powerful hardware to process voice translations between users. This device simply doesn't have the processing power for that. Anyway, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe. We might soon see a One UI 7 ROM for this device, as this phone still has the potential to handle it, especially with its overclocked processor, but not the AI features. We'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.